This morning, multiple cities waking up to damage after a night of protests over the death of Dante Wright, who was in police custody in Minneapolis area, including Seattle and Portland overnight. Authorities in Minnesota launching tear gas at large crowds gathering outside the Brooklyn Center Police Headquarters. That's near Minneapolis. There were numerous reports of looting, and police say several arrests were made. And this comes after Sunday's deadly shooting of 20 year old Dante Wright by police during a traffic stop for expired tabs. We're seeing marches in Seattle and Portland as well. Q13's John Hopperstad is here with more. And John, these demonstrations turned violent here. Yeah, Bill, here in Seattle, mainly vandalism the police dealing with, but in Portland, things got a lot more violent. First, we'll show you some of the pictures and video that Seattle police put out on Twitter last night as they followed a large group marching through the city, mainly through the downtown area and then into Pioneer Square. Officers say most of the damage to businesses along Fifth Avenue and Columbia Street, some smashed windows there. As police follow, they gave multiple warnings to people marching not to block traffic, keep the demonstration peaceful. Again, no arrests made here in Seattle overnight, but in Portland, we've got new pictures this morning from our sister station, KPTV where police ultimately declared a riot there, said they had to defend themselves against a violent crowd at one of the government buildings in Portland. They say the folks were hurling rocks, fireworks, bottles at them uh, throughout streets in the area, lots of debris on the ground, uh, shards of glass, garbage cans on fire as well. So Portland may be bracing for more of that coming tonight. They also are asking for the public's help this morning. They say that one of their police precincts in Portland Somebody or people broke through the fencing there. They had chain link fencing. They cut through and did a lot of damage to cruisers that were parked there, slashing tires, smashing windows as well. So they want to hear from anybody who may know who did that uh, to contact the Portland police. Guys, we'll send it back to you.